still ahead all month long, we're teaching you about breast cancer. You'll learn about panel testing and if it's something that you should take. Welcome back, everyone. We are continuing the conversation about breast cancer awareness. Um, we're so happy to have Dr. Gruninder here from Ogden Clinic. Yes. Um, and it is such a great topic. We're bringing up yes. a lot of things that um, need to be, we, we need to be more aware of. One of is um, getting tested for the gene. Yes. And the gene we're talking about is the BRCA gene. Yes. It's what one is of it? many. Yeah. So there's a panel test that you can do. It's a blood test. And it looks for, there have been 25 genes identified that are gene mutations that patients can have that put them at an increased risk for specific cancers. BRCA being one for breast cancer, prostate, pancreatic. Oh, interesting. And this is yes. something, this is what um, Angelina Jolie yes. found out about, brought a lot of awareness to yes, it. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, so tell us, when when is it important to find out if you have this gene? At what point do you go in and, and get tested for it? So, it's all kind of based on your family history. If you have a strong family history where it's breast cancer month, particularly breast cancer. So, if you yourself have breast cancer at an age younger than 45, we're automatically going to test you. But if you have a family history of two family members that have had breast cancer and one of them has been premenopausal, you qualify for the test. Three family members, regardless of age with breast cancer, you qualify for the test. Any family member with ovarian cancer, you qualify for the test. Okay, why is it important to get tested? So if you carry the BRCA gene, by the age of 70, your estimated risk of having a breast cancer is 87%. Wow. And your risk of having an ovarian cancer is anywhere between 20 and 40%. And this carries true not only for women, but also for men. If men are BRCA carriers, they are at a risk for male breast, for male breast cancer and then also for prostate cancer. Wow. Okay, so what is the process like? What is the test like? The test is so easy. It's just a blood test. You come into a doctor's office that offers it. It's a blood test. We send it off. Takes about three to four weeks for the results to come back. You come back in, and if you are a carrier of the gene, it, then it uh, changes how we follow you and manage you. Well, that's what I was just going to say. What if you do find out that you do carry it? I mean, is it just dependent on the on the client, or how do you, what do you do then? So if you are a carrier of BRCA, right. it changes your screening, where most women of what we say is average risk for breast cancer, you start mammograms at 40, you have yearly mammograms. If you're a BRCA carrier and we identify you early, we start your imaging at 25, and you get imaged every six months, alternating with MRIs and then mammograms and ultrasounds. And then once you hit somewhere between the age of 35 and 40, we start talking to you about what we call risk-reducing surgery, bilateral prophylactic, prophylactic mastectomies, having your uterus and ovaries out because we know your risk of cancer is so great. Um, it's so amazing the technology now that we're able mm -hmm. to find all of this information out. Yes. Um, if I say my mother had breast cancer, mm -hmm. the chances of me having that gene are high, right? It depends on the rest of your family history. It's okay. important with breast cancer to remember that 80% of women that get breast cancer are going to have no family history of it. So it's really these breast cancer genes and any of these gene mutations we really focus on are in families with strong histories of multiple people having same cancers, different cancers but a strong family history of cancer, that is where the red flag triggers for a gene mutation. Okay, so I have a question. If you were to go and get tested, you know, if I'm 36 mm -hmm. years old, and it came up negative, will it always be negative? Like, it do I need to go back be and negative. get tested? Okay, no, so. it will always be negative. But if you have a strong family history and your gene testing is negative, there are some calculations we do, and we can calculate out. Some women still with gene negative tests fall into what we call a risk category of 20% or higher, where they do have still an elevated risk of breast cancer. And then they, we kind of put them into the same category as the women that are BRCA, and we follow them more closely every six months, more monitoring, throwing MRIs in. So important to be talking yes. about. And I love that um, Ogden Clinic is doing just that. You guys, if you want more information, um, please go to their website. It's ogdenclinic.com. And um, thank you, Dr. Grander. I really appreciate you, you continuing the conversation. If you guys need to get tested, you know where to go. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Yeah. Thank All right, you. stick around, you guys. If you are still trying.